Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to a day in my life. We're doing another video today. I'm not sure whether it'll be a two day or one day. Depends on how much I want to put in here, but right now I'm waiting for Joan from, I want to say Joan's point and plate. I want to say Joan's rise and shine. The rise and shine homestead. That's a tongue twister for me. So if she's picking me up, we're meeting a subscriber for brunch. So we'll see if we can do a little bit of hello and um, let's see if I can talk her into going to the store. I think there's a, there's a really nice Dollar Tree next to the diner we're going to. It's not really next to the diner, but it's on the way back from the diner. So we'll see if I can talk her into it. She, she might need a little cheering up. So, hey, I don't know about you, but a Dollar Tree haul always cheers me up. So I'll see you in a few. That'll fit selfie. So we're here, and look who's here. That's the pointed. Oh. I keep calling you the pointed. I'm not the pointed. I know. I have a brain problem. It is the Rise and Shine Suburban Homestead. Yes. Sorry about that. It's okay. So. And look who else is here. I know. I have to. It's I know. Say hi, I know. Inez has been a faithful okay, subscriber for so years. Happy to see you. It's she's been such a long time. I know, I miss you. Inez has been one of my very early subscribers, and she lives two towns over, and we get together once in a while. If you live closer, we can get together too. But we're going to go enjoy our time, and I will catch you in the next clip. There's my breakfast plate. It was a power scramble. It was egg whites and veggies, and it came with hash browns and wheat toast. I only ate half the toast. And there's my dinner at Applebee's. It was an Asian grilled chicken salad. I ate three quarters of it, gave it a quarter to Steve, and I did eat the bread. So that was all I ate all day. I think that was pretty good. Happy Friday. Yeah, wasn't that, wasn't that much of a vlog yesterday? So we'll continue into today. Um, yeah, it didn't do much to me. You know, he's Peter. So I don't have much time to do fun stuff. But we still have an unboxing to do, um, a haul. And... You saw last night I had, we had gone to Applebee's and I had a chicken Asian or chicken Chinese Asian salad. I didn't know what I wanted. I was hungry. It was like 5, 30, 6 o'clock because we had breakfast. I didn't have lunch yesterday because it was more of a brunch. We ate it probably 11-ish. So yeah, I, I was hungry come dinner time and I didn't really want anything heavy, heavy. So I went with a salad. Is it a high caloric salad from there? Yeah, but you're paying for like, the noodles and the dressing because you're not paying for the chicken you're not paying for the lettuce it's like the noodles and the dressing i mean could there be that many calories in noodles and dressing and there was a breadstick involved but i did give a third of the salad to steve because i ate the bread he said on the breadstick i went oh i'll take the breadstick you have a third of the i had all the chicken though he didn't get any chicken it was grilled chicken too i could have gotten the fried chicken but I went with the grilled I had to cut back somewhere and i avoided the appetizers which you know, they had, um, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> Oops. Because it's half price appetizers uh, during happy hour. So happy hours, I think four to six. The, I had the little chicken uh, wontons. So that was probably, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I only had one. There was four there. I only had one. So water is filled. Tea is ready to go. And of course we know. Love is a four-legged word. It truly is. So I was craving for breakfast and cakes. And I thought, I need to use up this Lakanto. So a third cup is two points and 70 calories. And you get seven grams of protein. But I'm going to throw an egg in there. So it'll amp up the protein a little bit more. Because that's what I always do to these. Because these, you only have to add water to these. Honestly, some days I even add um, almond or cashew milk. Or even regular milk, just to bulk it up a little bit. But I don't know if I'll do that. I don't think I really need to add the milk today. But I'm going to add the egg. We'll see how much milk we have. Maybe we, I might have milk I need to use up. Come to think of it. So maybe we'll use that up. But that's going to be breakfast this morning. I'm going to make it for me and for Timmy. We're both having pancakes. He has a funeral to go to, so he's still sleeping. It is 8.50. So, yeah, I'm kind of peckish. Because I've, I've been thinking about these. When you know, when you have something on your mind, it's like, you just so I want pancakes. I was going to have pancakes the other day, but I didn't use up that asparagus. So that's probably why I'm really jonesing for pancakes. But yeah, I'm going to show you my breakfast. It's just pancakes. Mix, mix, make pancakes. You could do the pancake in a mug and microwave it. It's always a fun option. I always love that idea. It's a great little fun, quick way to make a pancake in a mug. But we're going to make regular pancakes because I have time today. So 
Oh, I have even made a pancake in a um, loaf pan too, but now we're going to do regular pancakes today. If you remember from yesterday's or Thursday's vlog, my strawberry vinegar. How fun is that? I originally thought you had it had to steep for days, but then I went back. I'm like, no, it just says a few hours, which you can tell it did really well for a few hours, but I don't read. Yeah. You didn't know that about me. I tend to skip things. I don't know. It's always been that. I think my brain's ahead of my everything else. Like I just go, Shh. sometimes like I do that in emails too. Like, did you see that in the email I sent you? I'm like, oops. I don't avoid it intentionally. It's just it's how my brain works. So I'm going to get breakfast. And I will show you my beautiful plate of pancakes. I'm a bit excited about this. Breakfast this morning is pancakes. We have Lakanto pancakes this morning. Third cup. Third cup of unsweetened almond milk and one egg. Makes about what, four nice sized pancakes. I top it with a serving of peanut butter powder. I have the, I think it's butterscotch on there today. And an eighth of a cup of kind high fiber granola. The pancakes are three points. The peanut butter is one point and the granola is one point. So it's four points on Weight Watchers, 260 calories, 37 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein and 13 grams of fat. I'm going to dig into this. I love texture with my pancakes. I'm an oddball, I know, but this is like my favorite new breakfast. I just want to show you how beautiful everything in Thrive comes packaged. Everything that is glass is double wrapped in these like fun little safety things and they separate things, things that might get crushed, get put over here. So they really take the time to make sure that your box is really well packaged. So far, I've never got anything broken, ripped, torn in my Thrive Market box. So, and each box is signed by the person who packs it. You can check that. There. Alrighty, now for my Thrive Market box. This has been sitting here for a while. Just haven't had the time to unbox it with you guys. And you know, Thrive Market, I order from Thrive Market, is an online grocery store. But it's not just any online grocery store. It's not like Amazon. It has like things you would get at Whole Foods, Sprouts. So it's like a better grocery store. Like if you're looking for organic, you know, certain ingredients, certain non-ingredients, Thrive Market is probably the place for you. It is a membership-based subscription and I do buy my own subscription. I pay for my own Thrive Market. Um, it's $5 a month. I think you can pay it by the month. I purchased it for the year because I made a I made a commitment to, to get it for a year. So it cost me $60 for the year. And you do make up for it in the savings. Now, here's a fun fact. If you see it somewhere cheaper, screenshot it and send it to them. They will credit your account the difference. So if you say, oh my gosh, I got this at Thrive and it's like, you know, 80 cents cheaper here or whatever what it is. You screenshot it, send it to them. They will credit your account that difference. I've done that and it's worked. So. They stand by their prices, so I like that. And it's definitely a great place if you are have a certain dietary restrictions. Like if you're gluten-free, um, so nut-free, you could put that in and it'll only show you those items. So you're not having to look at labels and wondering if it has nuts or it has gluten in it. You've checked off the box. It's not going to show you anything that has that. So it makes it easier to shop. You don't get that like, oh, I wish I could have that, but it has that. So I think that's a really nice feature for them. So I've been, it's been, I just renewed my membership. So it's, it's my second year doing Thrive. I just like it for certain things. And, you know, there's a threshold. I think it's $49 for free shipping. And honestly, I reached that threshold. I make a plan to reach that threshold because in a sense ordering, I'm not going to order. And there are certain things that I love that they have there. Um, I love the little individual packs of olives. I love the individual packs of lupini beans. I love the little mini uh, meat sticks that they have. So they're usually um, one of the things I pretty much get every other box, depending on, you know, what it is. And uh, last Fried Market box, like I said, they have things like Primal Kitchen, which is a huge brand. And this Brahmi, I love this. This is a lupini bean type hummus. So good. So let's see what we got this month. Honestly, I don't remember. Oh, Tasty Thins of Vienna. Chickpea veggie crisps. These are gluten free, 40 calories per serving for 10 crisps. I love these. 
they're crunchy, they're fantastic. So I love any kind that you can get of a chickpea crisp. I'm all in for it. So this isn't a flavor of sea salt. So I was, yes, I'm going to try that. And these, I love these little individual packs of artichokes. They're not in, they're just like in a brine. They're not in like olive oil or anything. But, oh, they are. I'm sorry. Artichokes, cane, sugar, salt, vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, lime juice. Okay, they're 15 calories for the pack. I love artichokes. Be fun in my girl lunch one day. So I got a couple packs of those. Good Sam's be a small farm, dark chocolate with sea salt and dry roasted almonds. No sugar added. I want to try this Good Sam's brand. And a lot of times um, they will give you gifts of the month or the week each week they you'll get if you sign up you'll get emails or you get text messages saying hey if you order today this is free or this is free mayan had a bars and sips bundle this could have been involved in that i'm not sure what was in that let me say if i purchased this or this in my no i purchased this okay i wasn't sure because so i did purchase this because i wanted to try the no sugar added from good sam so this looks, i love a good chocolate bar so i'm always in the mood for that so oh, artichokes <sighs> yep three packs these were a dollar 99 each so they were on special and i probably should empty this box before i go and do it all right oh this is something i bought <laughs> you know i'm a matcha lover and i saw they had non-gmo matcha lemonade drink mix I was excited because you know I love me some matcha. Scoop, stir, and sip. So it was 10 calories for the serving. So I'm I'm all for that. I had a um, matcha. I can't remember the brand that I had. It was in cans. I really liked it, but it was really expensive. But for this, this was $9.49 for the pouch, and it makes 20 servings. So definitely cheaper than buying because that was a case of 12. And that was like over $30. So I was happy to get this. Alrighty, mustard, organic spicy brown. I was out of spicy brown mustard. So since I was putting that in there, I decided to grab this. And this was 430, no, 439 for this. Parmel Kitchen spicy brown mustard. Organic spicy brown mustard. Now this I believe was one of the freebies I got. This was Aloha, it was part of my sips and bars bundle. So this is the Aloha. I like this brand of, I love these bars, I do. And this is a um, set, you get four bars, which I think is, I've gotten this pack before. Like this, these gifts sometimes retail for close to $20 between the two things I got. Chocolate caramel pecan, chocolate coconut almond, peanut butter cup, and maple sea salt. So I like these bars now. We're all funny with bars. They're all, I think bars are very personal to us because it's what we like. But I do like the Aloha bars and they are plant-based, which is shocking. But there's, I like plant-based bars and I'm more like, than I like plant-based powder. Yeah. 14 grams of protein, whole food ingredients. 14 grams of protein. They even have protein drinks and powders, but I've never had them. I've only ever had the bars. Um, look, Esther, there's a U with a circle. But yeah, these are really one of my favorite ones. And sometimes they're around five or six points per bar. Not gonna lie, they're a little bit, but honestly, you know, you like what you like, you know? And I've never seen this before, but this is bone broth packets. So if you just wanna sip with your lunch, a little bone broth, 10 grams of protein, zero sugar, 50 calories with your lunch, why not? You know, 10 grams of protein with a little cup of broth. I think that was pretty cool. So I wanted to try the beef broth because I like to sip, you know, and sometimes you'll get in the whole container. I don't always want it the next day, but little packets, I can have it when I want it. Alrighty. What's here? Let's see. I have never, I've seen somebody haul this and I thought it sounded so interesting. You know I me mean? and my seltzer. This is called cactus water. This is ginger and lime, super hydration and rare antioxidants, plus digestion benefits. It's vegan, it's 25 calories, 
four grams of total sugar includes three grams of added sugar, but 325 calories. Honestly, I thought that this sounded really good. Cactus juice. Have you ever had cactus juice? I've never had. And I was like, <gasps> and one thing about their drinks, I will tell you, most times you have to buy them in two quantities, which I'm okay with because I, don't know, I think two is a good one to try. So what do you get here? Another cactus juice in prickly, wild prickly pear. I thought that sounded fun. If I'm not mistaken, I've probably got two of each of those, right? Let me look at my thing. Yes, I got two of the prickly pear and two of the ginger lime. Like I said, most, almost every beverage gets by two of them, which um, like I said, and same thing with soup. I think anything in a can, it seems like. And here's the other. Lime. See how everything is beautifully wrapped? This stuff's really great. All right, this is something different. I think this was my free item. So I don't think I bought this, or did I? I always forget what I, because I, okay, maybe I did, because I see here. Swoon! I love me some swoon. I got the peach iced tea, one of my favorites. This is zero, at five calories. If you've never tried swoon, oh my god, it is sweetened with monk fruit. It is so good. You can find this at Whole Foods. You can find this at Sprouts. I, you might be able to find it right at a grocery store. I don't know, but I know you definitely can find it there. And yeah, I love swoon. I swoon for swoon. Whew. It'll be long if we've been on here this long because I talk too much. All right, this was one of the free ones I got because prebiotic orange poppy. That was part of my little free of the month because I wouldn't order orange. That's how I know. Peter will love that. And is this one of my, let's see. No, this is one of my free ones too. Strawberry lemon poppy. I like poppy. I really like Poppy. Uh, the cola is outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And you can get Poppy at Target. So if you've never tried Poppy, now I'm not sure you can get individual cans. Another perk for Thrive Market. Who wants to buy a case of Poppy? What if I don't like it? And here's the other cactus water in prickly pear. So yeah, I know that's that could be a deterrent. Sometimes they I really like, what if I don't like this? So I'm stuck with a whole case of it. And I don't have a Peter or a Steve here to eat it and drink it. The guy was here, oh, I have the kids. But then if I don't like it, somebody will, will use, usually use it. I did get me and I bought these because cola is my favorite. I love poppy cola. This, out of all the prebiotic sodas out there, tastes the most like regular soda in the cola. I love Love it. And it is a prebiotic. It is 25 calories. Honestly, worth every calorie. All right. Let's see. I think I know what this is. I think it is more cola. I got four because, you know, I think they might have been on sale. I feel like they might have been on sale. Dollar seventy to a can. So they were on sale. They're usually $2.99. So they were on sale. So I got four of them. So my freebies were this poppy, this poppy, and my boat bars of aloha. So like I said, they'll send you text messages saying, hey, or an email saying, hey, this is our special of the day. So if you order it, you just, you hit it, you put it right in your cart and you shop if it's something that you want. Sometimes, does that entice me to shop? Depends on what the gift is. It might, because I could always use these. I could always use pantry items. I could always use more condiments. I could always use artichokes. Olives, meat sticks, lupini beans. Yeah. So that is my little, little, my pretty decent Thrive Market haul. I think I came under um, my total. Is that my total? It was 5131. So I got my free shipping and my free gifts. So like I said, I tried just to, um, since I have a, a membership, I may just order the minimum and then just put another order in a couple weeks later and, you know. They also have things, frozen things too, if you want. I've never got anything frozen or refrigerated. I've always gotten regular, um, regular shelf-stable stuff. But 
that's my little thrive article. I will link it down below if you're interested in checking them out. You get 40% off your first box if you decide to order. Sometimes I throw in a free gift in sometimes. Not all the time, because I know when I went in, I got a free gift too. And sometimes it was a it was a, a cookbook. I mean, shocking that I would pick the cookbook. But that is my little Thrive Market haul for today. Hello, lovely vlog. I just rambled, so that's why I had to distinguish where I'm talking. Because sometimes, I don't know. So I'm just leaving my little errand to the post office. And just wanted to let you guys know, if you didn't already hear, which I did mention the rambling. Um, we had an earthquake here in New Jersey. We did. 4.2? 4. 4. Something like that. Yep. Yep. And just so you know, I didn't feel anything. Peter comes down and he goes, Mom, you alright? I'm like, why is this like a Mack truck in this car? Jimmy takes my car and doesn't sound good afterwards. <sighs> I didn't feel anything. I was down in the basement filming my Thrive Market that you hopefully just saw. So I didn't feel anything. Plus, there is some kind of work going on in my neighbors. So if I probably would have assumed it was like they were jackknifing something. Or jackhammering something. So I probably wouldn't even notice. Woke Peter up. He got woken up. Yeah. I didn't feel anything. Maybe because I was in the basement? I don't know. Steve felt it. Timmy did not. Timmy was on the, he was on the road to a funeral. He didn't feel anything. Patrick's down in Avalon. He didn't feel anything. Peter did. Steve did. I did not. <laughs> so, uh, the dog didn't either. He, he didn't like, sometimes when Bailey gets nervous about something, he starts to bark, but he didn't, he didn't notice anything either. So, but crazy. You know, East Coast Earthquake. Who knew? It's not the first one we've had. Uh, I do remember a couple others not too long ago. We lived here, so honestly, it wasn't, you know, too terribly. Once, when the kids were fairly young, because I thought they were wrestling, because having boys, that's what they did. And especially Timmy. Timmy plays very rough. Always did, still does. Um, so I just assumed they were just like having at it. And they were, we're just sitting here, we're not doing anything. And then I, and then she's like, there was, I was an earthquake. I'm like, wow. But yeah, so, you know, you never know what happens in this part of town, this part of the country. But yeah, we're fine. House is fine. Everybody's fine. I felt nothing. So in case you hear about it, you could say you knew somebody in the center of the epicenter. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I'm, it's going to be a short vloggy today because, well, I'm just trying to fill up from yesterday just to make it a complete video. Um, we are going out tonight to Steve's sister's. She invited us over. They just moved and they invited, and it's just Steve, Timmy and I. Um, everybody else is working. So, it's just three of us. I will not be vlogging there. So, I will probably end the video after lunch. She's making white chicken chili. So, I know what I'm going to have. <laughs> With bread and salad. So, I love me a good white chicken chili. So, I'm excited. I love chili. And any, any, any way you can get chili, I love it. So, I'm excited for that. But, yes. Yeah, so, you will not be able to... I mean, I may throw in my what I eat in a day. I may I just film a little clip and just voice over it for what I eat in a day. Sometimes I I try to do that. It doesn't always work out, but if I can, I will. But other than that, I, like I said, it's not going to be a very long vlog. After lunch, we will end it, and it'll be like a little day, like a little two half-day vlogs put together as one. I'm gonna go home, what I'm going to go home now and do is make a matcha, because I am dripping. Like, I am just, I just want a matcha latte. So, I have my un almond milk, I have my matcha powder, I have my skinny syrups, and I'm going to have a delicious matcha. For one point, for, you know, how many, cal at 40 calories versus what they're charging at Starbucks and Dunkin', though I will say, Starbucks um, lavender matcha is phenomenal. And honestly, if I was closer, I probably would get one. In fact, I did get a lavender syrup from from um, Amazon. It's not a sugar-free lavender, so it it has sugar in it. So it obviously has points. I never did point at them, did I? I didn't. 
but it's still better than Starbucks. You have to look at it that way. Like, yeah, it's still gonna be something, but you know, it's not as bad as it could be. So that's that's how I do things. Is it as bad as it could be? No, it's not. So it's an improvement, and that's what you need. You need improvements. You know, if I had a stinking Starbucks matcha all the time, yeah, it would not be pretty on my waistline. Unfortunately, it would not. But that's a lot. A great place to do a, a nut milk is in like lattes, and you can get the unsweetened oat milk, which is really good in lattes as well. But you know, you gotta, you gotta cut corners somewhere. So just let you know that I survived Quake Gate 2024 here in the Northeast. Shocking, and I'm crooked, but. All right, I'll catch you for lunch and my latte, my latte lunch. All right, here for the matcha. I just made a serving of my Tenzo matcha powder. I always dissolve it in like an ounce or two of hot water, mix it with my little frother, make sure it's all nice and combined and foamy. Then I add a cup of, today I'm using the oat plant-based beverage, unsweetened from the Dollar Tree, 20 calories. I think it's one point. So we have that. So to that, I'm going to add my ice. And then I also, now I would not recommend this because I, I might see if there's something better out there, but I did get this. I mean, it's it works for what I need it to. This Da Vinci Lavender, but it is not sugar-free. So two tablespoons is 90 calories and it's seven stinking points. You see what I mean? Seven points, 90 calories. That makes zero sense. So I do one tablespoon for 45 with a couple tablespoons of the milk and I froth it and I make it into a little foam as best you can. So you just, that's gonna come up on camera, probably not. A little bit, a little purple. That's what it looks like if, you, if you've ever been there. That's what it looks like a little bit. There's just, they use heavy cream. So their foam's a little bit more foamier than mine. And there you have it. I also do vanilla skinny syrup in with the matcha. So there you have your lavender latte for two points. I will tell you, I do like this syrup. It is tasty. I, sh I don't use the double amount. I only use one because I'm not spending all those for all that sugar. But the lavender with the vanilla and the matcha. It's delicious. So it's my little pick-me-up. <sighs> yeah, Caffeine. It's a good day. Good day and earthquakes and I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> but um, all right, we're just gonna, we're gonna clean up the breakfast stuff because everybody was over breakfast today, so we got some breakfast dishes. So we're gonna clean that up and then I'll get my lunch going. My little girl lunch. Probably just gonna have leftovers and veggies. Oh, this is so good. I am, I am a matcha queen now, and I, I don't, I've never had matcha hot. I've only had matcha cold, and I really like it, so I'm afraid to have it hot. Those are the Tenzo, and I'll show you. I ate it online. It's pretty good. It's ceremonial grade. You do not want culinary grade when you're getting matcha. You want ceremonial grade. It's green tea powder, it's Japanese. It's the tea leaves that are ground up into matcha, so you, they dissolve, so you have the whole entire leaf. is is used. So don't get matcha in a tea bag. If you're getting matcha in a tea bag, no. You want matcha in a powder that dissolves. Like I say, you dissolve it in the hot water. Then you add your... Now, if you wanted a, a cup of matcha hot, you would just add more hot water, obviously. But I'm the latte queen. So I will see you back for lunch. Right, we haven't had Bailey for a while, so I thought I'd show you a little Bailey. Say hi. Say hi. She had an earthquake. I didn't even feel it. Actually, I really came out here to show you the update on the Dell. Oh, she's looking good. So I brought, I tried to bring it out during the day. There's not much sun today, but give it some air. I just gave it some water. I don't know how often to water it. If anybody knows how to grow Dill, let me know. This is trial and error for me. More error than trial, but we're working on it. She's, well, she's not dead yet, but let's, let's just for a minute. Hey, Belle, Belle, Belle. Oh, look at him stretch. Belly, 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 belly. Say hi. He's a sweetheart. So yeah, here's your belly fix for the belly fans out there. Yeah, look at mommy. You want some bones? 
All right, there's a little bit of Bailey for y'all and the dill update. All right, I'm running out of time, so we're not gonna have an elaborate lunch. Plus, we're going out to an early dinner, so I'll be fine. I'm gonna have a too good yogurt with some of my homemade granola that I made. It's um, sourdough discard granola. Don't ask me the points or calories, I have no idea. I'm not gonna have that much. I'm gonna have an eighth of a cup like I normally have of any granola. So, and that's usually one point, and that's all I'm worried about. So, I'm just gonna have. Somebody would yell at me for that, so I'm just gonna make it an even eighth of a cup. So there we go. Points or calories? I have no idea, but I know it's safe. So that's gonna be my little protein lunch. Like I said, we're gonna have an early dinner. We're leaving here in about an hour anyway, hour and a half. So just want to take the edge off my hunger with that little high protein yogurt snack. So we don't skip a meal because we're going out. You gotta keep yourself fueled. You gotta keep yourself not starving. And I preach that all the time because if I sit there, well, I'm going out to dinner, I don't want to, you know. No, it's not about wasting points and calories. It's about keeping yourself satisfied because if I go there starving, I'm going to eat more. That's just me. Maybe you're better than that. I'm not. Know yourself. Know what you're capable of. So I'm going to eat this and that's going to be my lunch for today. I'll put this on my what I eat in a day too. Points or calories? Have no. Well, I know this yogurt's two points and I know that's one point of granola. Well, I'm going to call it one point of granola because that's what granola Usually is for, for this little eighth of a cup. And I love these. Invest an eighth of a cup for your granola. If nothing else, for your granola. I have a list in my Amazon store. Well worth what I paid for it. So that's your PSA for today. Oh, and by the way, let me tell you something. Real quick. I shared these yesterday for my snack. They are the healthy eating on the go bars. They are the minis for three points, 100 calories, and I think eight grams of protein. Yes. They gave me a 12% discount code for you, not 10. So, like I said, if it's something that I, Lynn recommended them to me, a subscriber, and she knows I love bars, and these are really good. These are the peanut, and they're, it's like a dose of peanut butter. I love it. So thank you again, Lynn. And like I said, if you want to try them, they're only on Instagram. I've never seen them, you know, anywhere. So if you go on Instagram and look at healthy eating on the go, you can check them out. And if you want to use my 10% off, I think it's either... D, I think it's D. And like I said, they have regular and I wanted the minis because I wanted to try them and I am in love. So I will definitely be repurchasing. I purchased these myself, they did not send these to me. So this is totally unsponsored, but I did ask for a discount for you guys because I know when you wanna try, I didn't have a discount when I went and bought them. So I like to offer you guys, you know, if you wanna try something and 12% is better than 10. So thank you to them for giving this to you. Like I said, I did purchase these. So that's my piece. I'm going to end the video here because I got to get ready to go out. So thank you for watching this little day in my life. A few fun things. I will have Thrive Market linked down below with 40% off your first box. And I will link these again for 12 if you're interested. Like I said, don't ever feel when I show something, you need to get it. But if you're looking at something and want to try something different, that is why I show things. I'm not showing it to make you buy anything. It's just when I like something and I like to share it. So that is it for me. If you enjoyed this, let me know with a big old thumbs up. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D. We are the healthy lifestyle fun channel where we do all fun kinds of things. Had an earthquake today, but we survived. Nothing fell, but I didn't even feel it. So thank you again for your concern. And I will dish with you another day. Thumbs up and I will see you Sunday for live. Have a great rest of your day, my lovelies. Ta-ta for now.